Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the functional dependency concept. Okay, so it is not mentioned in the gate syllabus, but we have to discuss this concept for uh, to understand to understand the concept of normalization. And also, if you see your gate sample paper, so in that there is one question based on functional dependency concept. Okay, so we'll try to discuss this. So what is functional dependency (FD)? Right. So functional dependency (FD) is a kind of integrity constraint. It is integrity constraint that generalizes the concept of a key. So, what is key here? Key is used to is used to uniquely identify each and every row, each and every row in a relation or table, right? So, this is what key is. Let R be a relational schema and X and Y be a non-empty set of attributes. So, X and Y be a set of attributes, okay? So, this X and Y can be an individual attribute also or a set of attribute also, right? So, we can say that an instant R for R satisfied FD, X determine Y. So, it holds for every player of tuple T1 and T2 in R such that this is condition is true, right? So, what this condition is, we'll try to discuss. But what is this x arrow y? How to read this x arrow y? So basically, it is x determines y, right? So x arrow y is a read as functionally determines y. So x determines y. So this is how we can read this particular x arrow y. Okay. So x determines y. Now what this condition is saying? Okay. Suppose I have three attribute, for example, x, y, and z in a relation R. Okay. And I have say like this a, b. Right, A, B here, C, D, D, C, and here, here A, E, here also E, F, E, F, right. So, this is my table, okay. A, B, A, B, C, D, D, C, E, F, E, F, right. Now, what this condition is saying, T1 not X1, say for any tuple 2, any 2 tuple such that this X is same, okay. Any tuple such that this x is same. So we can consider any two tuples such that x is same. So here x is same for this tuple t1 and this tuple t2. So I will consider this and this as tuple t1 and t2 because the value of x is same, that is a a. If the value of x is same, then the value corresponding to the y for this particular functional dependency must be same. Okay. Now if you observe here, a determines c here from t1, and here also a determines d, right? So but the value of y is not same in this case because a determines c and same a is determining d, right? So I can say this particular functional dependency x determined y does not hold, does not hold true, does not hold true, okay? Now so what about x determines z, okay? Same condition, okay? So our x is same, t1 and t2 is same, right? So a, a, right? Now if a for a two tuple, x value is same, then the y value must be same for the corresponding x. So if you observe here, a determines e, and here also a determines e. So for example, a determines z, so a determines e for t1, and for t2 also a determines e. Right? Then if for all such value of a, if you are giving the same output, then we can say this functional dependency holds true. So x determines z holds true, holds true on this particular relation r okay so this is what the concept of functional dependency is simple is that if the value of x is same then their corresponding value of y must be same okay so simply x determines y same thing you have to check for all the different values of x for example we are checking for x determine y right so i already checked for when x equals to a but i have x equals to b also because if I consider this as T1 and this as T2, so B, B is there, right? Now, if you observe, B determines D and D determines C. So, this is different, right? So, it does not hold true, right? Now, same thing. Just let me change this particular condition. Instead of uh, C, it is D, for example, okay? Now, if you observe, X determines D. My B will give me D and here also double T2 will give me D, right? So, B is determining D here. So, so this functional dependency holds true on the relation R right for this particular value of b but i need to check for every value of x but for x it is not satisfying for x x determine c and a determine d right so 
for value of x it is not getting satisfied right this functional dependency but for b it is getting satisfied so but for all the value of x it should satisfy so i can say for this particular relation r x y z x determine y does not hold true does not hold true even if it is holding for a b but it is not holding for a so for all the unique values of x it should hold true okay now what about x determine z what about x determine z sorry x determine z so we already checked for a so when the value of x is a so a determine e also a determine e also then i can say this functional dependency holds true for a value of a but what about value of b x equals to b because we have to check for each and every unique value of x okay for left hand side so that is basically b determines f and b determines f so here also b determines f and same b determines f then i can say for this particular relation r x y z x determines z holds true okay this is holds true because for all the unique value of x i am getting the value of z okay so this is what x determines z is okay so i hope you understand this particular example we'll discuss few more example okay now same x y z we can take for example let's take a b c now a determine a b okay and i have this table i have this column okay for example a1 gives me b1 a2 gives me uh, b2 a1 is fill in the blanks a2 is fill in the blanks a3 is uh, say for example b4 right a4 is b4 a3 again fill in the blanks and a4 is uh, b4 right so this is my uh, table right now what i am saying for this particular relation r having two attribute a determine a and b this functional dependency holds true okay holds true right now we know this functional dependency holds true on this particular uh, two column a and b now if it holding true then our this particular condition that is for two tuples the value of b must be same for a unique value of alpha a right for the same value of a the value of b must be same so let's try to apply the same concept and find out the value of this fill in the blanks okay now what is what about this a1 now i will see whether we have any a1 in the row or not yes here you can see first row if a1 is giving me b1 right in order to satisfy this particular functional dependency this a1 should also give me b1 right what about a2 do we have any other value yes here you can see a2 if a2 is giving me b2 in order to satisfy a determine b a2 should give me b2 only right what about this a3 so a3 is giving me a b4 from this right if a3 is giving me b4 in order to satisfy this particular functional dependency a3 should give me b4 only right so this is how we can find out the missing values in a table if we are given the functional dependency holds true okay now here we are said x and y is attribute or set of attribute if you remember here set of attributes right so it can be a b determine c also right so a b determine c for example i have one more column for example c right now for example i have this c1 this is c2 this is c1 okay uh, this is c3 this is c3 this is c4 uh, c3 and c4 okay, for example now let's try to see whether this particular functional dependency is applicable to this relation r or not so what we are saying a b determine c so value of this particular ab must be unique okay ab means here a1 b1 so a1 b1 is determining c1 right and here a2 b2 is determining c2 a2 b2 is determining c2 now for all such value of a1 b1 i should get c1 only for all such value of a2 b2 i should get c2 only right so if you observe a1 b1 again a1 b1 is again giving me c1 what about a2 b2 now a2 b2 is giving me c3 so it is voiding my this particular functional dependency right so i can say this functional dependency does not hold true does not hold on this particular relation r because this thing is not satisfied because either a2 b2 should give me c3 or here you can say a2 b2 is giving me c2 also so this cannot be possible right so this is how we check the fun functional dependency okay for example just take instead of a and b we'll take roll number okay roll number and age right in a student data set roll number is unique because roll number must be unique if for a particular phone uh, for a particular roll number say for example 21f1 i am getting the age 26 okay 
Now for that particular student, same roll number, the age must be same, right? If we are using the same roll number one more time in our table, then that age must be same. I cannot say 21, F1 determines 27. In this case, the same student will have the different age value, right? So this is what so this is what the concept of, of uh, key is. Key is basically unique and not null, right? So key is unique. For each unique value of X, we should have the, the same value of Y, right? So 21 F1, the age of 21, uh, the, the age of roll number 21 F1 is 26. Then I cannot enter 21 F1, 27 as a input in the data set. Otherwise, it will violate my this functional dependency A determines Z. Or in this we can, or in this case, we can see roll number determine age. Okay. Now same example. For example, we take a first name, last name. Okay. Determines age, for example. So first name is for example Ravi Kumar. Okay. If age of Ravi Kumar and we are assuming that no two student has the same name. Okay. No two student has the same first and last name. If age of Ravi Kumar is 26, then age of Ravi Khan, it can be anything because the combination must be unique. We are checking for F first name determining last name, right? So combination must be unique. Here Ravi Ravi is same, but last name is different, right? So in this case, it is possible. In this case, that is possible because it's a different uh, alpha value. This uh, different uh, this is this is a different uh, value, right? Because the combination is not unique here. So combination must be unique here, right? So Ravi Kumar, Ravi Ravi Khan is different, right? So Rahul Kumar and Rahul Khan, okay? This all four are different, okay? Because the combination is different, okay? So we are interested in the combination of A and B, right? Not A or B in this case. That is first name and last name. But if you have given only A and B, then in that case, Ravi determining Kumar, Ravi determining Ishan will not be applicable if we consider this A and B, okay? So that's the case. But if you are considering more than one attribute, then their combination must be unique, okay? And we don't care about right hand side. So right hand side can be same. For example, it's age 26, so here also can be age 26. So this is fine, okay? But if I have one more Rahul Kumar, Rahul Khan, for example, then his age must be 26 only in order to satisfy this particular functional dependency, right? But in other cases, if, if unless it is unique, so it right hand value must be same. So we are not uh, bothered about the value of right hand side, okay? What we are saying, if a left hand value is same, then their corresponding right hand value must be same for all such left hand value, okay? So this is what this concept is, t1 dot x equal to t2 dot x. If we have two such a uh, row in a table having same x value, then their value of y must be same okay if we have two such rows here we have only one such row so we can say uh, not an issue but if we have two such row rahul khan rahul khan then their y value must be same okay so please remember this important point i hope you understand the concept of uh, functional dependency so simple concept uh, we are not going in depth because it's a huge concept in dbms it's uh, it is applicable everywhere but uh, we are not going to uh, in that depth so we are only see how to solve such type of problems okay so this question number 26 in our gate sample paper okay sample paper question number 26 gate da okay so we have given a relation having x y z as a column and which of the following condition is true so here x y determines z so x y determines z so combination of x and y should give me unique value of z now let's consider 1 4 1 4 is giving me 2 1, 5 is giving me 3. So, 1, 4 is giving me 2. 1, 5 is giving me 3. That is fine. But here, if you see, 1, 4 is giving me 3. Okay. So, for the same alpha value, for the same x, y value, I am getting different uh, z value right here. So, this should not be there. So, it means that this functional dependency is not applicable to relation R and symbol. So, anyway, this option is not correct. You can check for z determine y also. So, z determine y, right. So, y, so z is 2 value of x is a uh, one so z determine y so two one so z determine y right three one three determines y again three determines y so same three value but same left hand side and same right hand side value this is fine to determine one yes again we have same uh, value this is also fine one determine three okay there's only one value of one so we don't care about it because we don't have any other value so this functional dependence is applicable to this relation right but not this x y determines it so that's why this option a is not correct what about y z determine x now consider y z determine x or not so combination of y z must be unique so 4 and 2 determining 1 
सो फोर टू डिटरमाइनिंग वन फाइव थ्री डिटरमाइनिंग वन फाइव थ्री डिटरमाइनिंग वन फोर थ्री डिटरमाइनिंग वन सो फोर थ्री डिटरमाइनिंग वन फाइन फाइव टू डिटरमाइनिंग वन फाइव टू डिटरमाइनिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो फाइन बिकॉज वी आर नॉट केयर अबाउट राइट हैंड साइड बिफोर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल देन देर राइट हैंड साइड मस्ट भी इक्वल ओके दिस इज वॉट वी आर सेंग सो वाई सेट दट इज टू वन डिटरमाइन थ्री सो टू वन डिटरमाइन थ्री राइट सो हियर ऑल आर यूनिक राइट सो वी आर वी आर नॉट बॉर्डर अबाउट सो दिस फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंस इज अपलिकेबल ओके दिस इज दिस इज अलाउड वट अबाउट एक्स डिटरमाइन वाई सो हियर वन इज गिविंग मी फोर ऑल्सो एंड वन इज गिविंग मी फाइव ऑल्सो सो दिस इज नॉट अलाउड one is also giving me 4 and the one is also giving me 5 right if we have a same left hand side value okay for example x value then we then our y value must be same right but it is not the case here so that's why this is not applicable and that's why this functional dependence so that's why this option b is not correct now what about option number c so first thing is y determine x so y determine x so 4 is determining 1 okay fine 5 is determining 1 that is fine 4 is determining 1 yes same 4 is determining 1 also Five zero minus one is that is also fine. Two is unique because uh, we don't have any other value of two in y. So this functional dependency holds two. Why determine x? What about x determine y? We already check here, right? This is not allowed because for one we are getting four and for the same one we are getting five. So that's so this functional dependency is not allowed. That's why option C is not correct. What about option number D? X set determine y. So one two is x and z determine y. So combination of one two should determine four. That is fine. Combination of one three should give me a five. That is fine. Combination of one three is giving me four. That is not allowed because combination of one three is giving me five. Then for the same value of x z, I should get the same value of y. This is not allowed here. This is not uh, happening here, right? That's why this. That's why this particular functional dependency is not applicable. Now what about x? What about y determining x? So four determining uh. Five, five determining one, one four determining one. So here we can see all functional dependencies are applicable. So this is correct. But because of this fun particular functional dependency, option D is also not correct. So in this case, all options are wrong. Okay, all options are wrong. Okay, so no correct options are there. Please remember in the gate exam, uh, gate sample paper, this question, all options are wrong. Okay, so I hope you understand the particular concept and remember in this option and remember in this case all the options are wrong. Okay, so that's it from this particular lecture. I hope you understand the concept of a functional dependency. So, like same type of example can be there in our gate exam or what they can say if suppose I have x z determining y. Okay, if this functional dependency is there, right? Now then we'll find the value of We find the value of a, so they will give some fill in the blanks, and based on that, you need to find out the value of a, b, or c. Like they can give anything. So what you have to do? X, z determines y, right? If one three is giving me a, one three is giving me b, so it means I can say a and b are same, right? If I say x, z determines y, so here you can see one and three determines a, and one and three determines b also, right? In order to satisfy this particular functional dependency, the value of a and b must be same, right? So please uh, remember such things because they can ask you such type of example. Instead of uh, checking for functional dependency, they will tell you, okay, this functional dependency is applicable. Find out the value of A, B, C, or find out the value of fill in the blanks or any type of uh, question they can frame. But concept will be the same only. Okay. So this is about the functional dependency concept. In this functional dependency, we have a few Armstrong axioms also. Armstrong axioms also. Okay. So I have given all the um, some axioms in my notes. So try to go through it. I will show you where it is. Right. So if you go through our uh, database management course, I have provided the material. So here you can see the function. So here you can see the concept of functional dependency. Right. So the theoretical part is mentioned, and here you can see the rules are there: reflexivity, augmentation, transitivity, union decomposition. So what is trivial? What is non-trivial functional dependency? How to find the closure of a uh, functional dependencies? So kindly go through the uh, uh, this particular uh, notes. It it will be enough for the gate exam, right? Uh, you just need to remember the uh, this particular properties. So in the next lecture, we are going to discuss about this lossless decomposition and this uh, concept of normalization. Okay, uh, okay. So that's it from my side. Uh, thank you.